everyone welcome back to my channel this is raja from iit madras i am an ms for in the department of electrical engineering at iit madras so in this video i am going to talk about a very important topic which is point by serial correlation coefficient many of you might have heard about this important quantity beforehand but even if you have not heard about it you do not know anything about it in please watch the video till then you will get a lot of info and will note the relevance of this quantity in the realm of the statistics so and if you are appearing for the qualifier of the iitm bs degree uh, exam then this quantity will be quite useful for you in the long run so let's see what is this all about so before going into depth about this quantity you need to know the meaning of each of this terms what they mean what the signify so what is the meaning of point here what is the meaning of by serial here and what is the meaning of correlation here and what is the meaning of coefficient so we will see each of them one by one and at the end i will tell you how to compute by giving some example so let's see so first uh, let me tell you if you do not know about this so it is a special case of special case of pearson correlation coefficient so this pearson correlation coefficient is a very important uh, quantity uh, so as you go into the depth about the uh, descriptive statistic you might come across the measure of central tendency measure of uh, dispersion so in that uh, case you will might uh, you will come across this pearson correlation coefficient it is denoted by r so uh, it basically signifies the relation between two numerical variables so it signifies relation between two numerical variables so uh, if we have two quantities like height and weight it will signify how height and weight are correlated how they are related to each other so it might the case they are related positively or negatively means it might the case like it basically signify linear association so uh, the case must be like this so it signifies positive correlation and it signifies negative correlation so uh, this is about the pearson correlation coefficient and it varies from minus 1 to 1 so if it is minus 1 it means it is negatively correlated and if it is positive it means uh, it is its value has a near to 1 and is positive correlated and if it is zero means there is no correlation so this is about the pearson correlation coefficient and if you don't know much about it please try to learn about it in this video my main focus is to tell you about the point by serial correlation coefficient so it is denoted by r generally and it varies from minus 1 to 1 right so uh, and one important thing which you need to note is that it signifies the relation between two numerical variables now let's come to this point by serial correlation coefficient so here point means signal continuous variable by serial mean dichotomous variable and correlation as i have explained here in case of pearson correlation coefficient it basically signify relation between two variables you can in easy term you can see other understand it is relation and what is this coefficient coefficient means it is some kind of ratio kind of thing so it has no units it basically defined it has no unit because 
correlation coefficient is basically derived from the covariance if you see and covariance has a unit of uh, the quantities it is computed from the numerical variable so covariance has a unit of the quantities to make it unitless and easy to compare we come with the correlation coefficient which is unitless it has minus one to one no units similarly this by relation coefficient also has no unit because it is kind of ratio so it is the meaning of this and what is the point so this uh, by serial correlation coefficient is used for the uh, correlation between instead of two numerical variables it signifies the relation between two uh, one uh, numerical and other is binary so it basically instead of two numerical quantities we have one numerical and other is binary or you can say categorical quantity so point means signal continuous variable it is basically signifies this numerical value and by serial means it is something on binary value dichotomous also means the binary so when we compute this variation coefficient we always have to compare with a continuous variable which is also sometimes called metric and it is called the dichotomous so we define the relation between metric and dichotomous variable through this quantity and by serial means binary which has only the values 1 0 or 1 2 only two kind of variable values it is the basic kind of conjunction while computing this and correlation with some kind of relation and coefficient means no units so by this you might have understand the relevance of this quantity so like this Pearson correlation coefficient it also varies from minus 1 to 1 and also has the same meaning that if it's minus means it is a negative correlated and if one positive only difference is here we are compute, uh, computing between numerical and categorical instead of two numeric that's why it is called a special case of Pearson correlation coefficient and it is denoted by P the R E V. Now let's see how to compute this variable, uh, how to compute this quantity. So if you see, uh, like its formula is given like this. So it, uh, if you see for the first time, it may seem quite complicated, but let me simplify this for you. It is not so complicated, but you just need to understand what each variable is signifying. Then it is quite easy. You just need to compute some quantity. That's all. So let's see. So if we see here, here is the RPV, which is the biserial coefficient. It is the Y0 and Y1. Like, uh, for example, I have to compute this quantity between like, suppose, uh, like, uh, suppose we have height of the data, height of some individual, which is denoted by X and, and Y, I have the categorical value male and female male and female like i have the data of the height of the male and the female so here the x denote the height which is a numerical quantity and y is the male and female which is binary binary dichotomous and categorical names so here we have to compute the bicycle coefficient so uh, like so uh, we have to compute this variable. So we have to convert this categorical variable, categorical variable to numerical. So we, in that case, we have to use some kind of coding, coding in the sense, like uh, I can denote male by one or female by zero. Similarly, uh, we can use male as zero, female as one. So now we have converted this categorical to numerical. Now we can use the same formula of the Pearson correlation coefficient. So that's all. So if we see this formula also, it is the y0 and y1. So it means the mean values uh, of that quantity which correspond to the zero. Like uh, yeah, if I have this data, I can give you like height is 140, 141, 120, 130, and this y value is x and this y we suppose that 1 0 1 1 so here 1 means male and 0 means female so how, what, how to calculate y0 bar 
So for y zero bar, I have to calculate the mean of only those uh, only those variables whose uh, value correspond to this. Uh, for example, um, like here. So y zero means I uh, y zero bar should be one forty one only, and similarly. Uh, y1 bar will be these three terms 140, 120, 120. So one, 140 plus 140, 140 plus 120 plus 130 divided by whatever this will. So he, that uh, to this you can calculate y0 and y1 bar. And what is p0? p0 is the ratio of n0 by n. So n0 means the number of uh, 0. So zero, there are how many values we have? We have four values. Out of that, one is zero, so one by. Similarly, P1 is uh, N1 by N. So how many ones are there? There are three ones, so three by. And what is this sigma X? Sigma X is the population standard deviation. So we have to calculate the standard deviation of this quantity which you are, might know how to calculate the standard deviation. And in say, this is the population standard deviation. We have to, in the numerator, we have to use N instead of N minus. In case of sample, we have to use N minus. And then we have to apply in this formula. But let me tell you, this formula is quite complicated and you may face quite difficulty in understanding all this formula. I, I insist that do not learn this formula. But just, uh, just understand what all these variables are. And in case of emergency, you can use this formula and you, you can use this concept. But you do not know, uh, need to learn this formula because without even learning this formula, you can easily compute the bias serial coefficient, especially in the exam, whatever question will come through this concept. And definitely some question will come through this concept because it is really important. And if any question will come, just need to know the formula of the Pearson correlation coefficient so that only you can compute it. So here is the usual way, but you can also use the correlation, Pearson correlation coefficient formula, uh, which is covariance divided by standard deviation. So if you don't know, just look into this, how to compute the correlation coefficient, normal Pearson correlation. So that, so that also, if you compute, you will get the same answer. Only thing is you have to convert this categorical to numerical to compute this because you can come uh, calculate the Pearson to only uh, between numerical to numerical. Now let's see some uh, uh, question. So this question I have taken from the ITMBS qualifier. So uh, you can understand the relevance to this. So what is the ask? Uh, what the question is asking? this concept like let's see uh, so we have six data six students are randomly selected from the top 15 student of class if their performance is affected by the difficulty level of the papers so two different sets of question paper with varying difficulty level are designed like that and we have like this set and marks so here we have set and marks so first you need to uh, identify what type of variable is this? So if you see, marks is here numerical, and set is here categorical or binary. You can say because it has only two, one and two. So binary means just two value, two values, one, two, two, three, whatever. Only two values. So in sense, it has only two values. It, you can say it is a kind of binary or category. So through that, we can understand that we have to calculate the bi-relation coefficient, bi-serial correlation coefficient. So it is uh, asked to calculate the absolute value of bi-serial, point bi-serial correlation coefficient between the set of paper and marks. And here is the, another term, absolute value. So do not worry about that. Absolute value just means if you are getting the negative, you have to use only positive. So whatever answer you are getting, just use the absolute value means the uh, mod, only positive quantity. So like that, uh, let's calculate it. Let me erase it first. So let's see. 
So here I am using marks. Always use numerical as x. So marks I am using as x, and the set here is y. So here fifteen, thirteen, twenty, seventeen, fourteen, seventeen. So how many? There are six. Similarly, one, two, two, one, two, one. Right. So before that, first you need to calculate the mean. So uh, you have to calculate the mean. So what is the mean? So how to calculate the mean? You have to add all these values and divide by six. So uh, what is the value? Um, I have calculated it beforehand, so it should be ninety six. I think so. Let me see again. Yeah, it is ninety six only. So ninety six by six. So x bar is sixteen. Means the mean of this is sixteen. And here y bar is. Similarly, three, five, six, eight, and nine. Nine by six, it should be one point five. Now, what uh, you have to use this Pearson correlation coefficient, which is this. Uh, if you see the Pearson correlation coefficient, it is something like this: summation of x i minus x bar, y minus y bar, under root x i minus x bar. Whole square under root summation y minus. So this is covariance. If you see, in, it is covariance, and these are the standard deviation. And since the denominators are same, so they are can they got cancelled. So this is the formula. So first we have to calculate x i minus x bar, y i minus y bar, and then we have to multiply and then add. And similarly, we have to square, then add like that. So let's see here. So first, let me calculate the x i minus x bar. Always calculate x i minus x bar, not x bar minus x i. So this is the common mistake. So please be careful. Y i minus y. So what is the x i minus x bar? Means 15 minus 16. This is minus one. 13 minus 16 minus three. 20 minus 16 four. Seventeen minus sixteen one, fourteen minus sixteen minus two, seventeen minus sixteen one. Similarly, one point five, one minus one point five minus point five, two minus one point five point five point five minus one five point five minus. So this is x i minus x bar, and the y minus. Then calculate the product. So calculate the product. So minus one into minus one point five, so it should be point five, and it should be minus one point five. It is should be two, and it should be uh, minus point five, and then this is minus one, and then this is minus point five. Right. Now, uh, now you have to calculate the uh, sum. Uh, before that, you uh, so this quantity I am first computing. So I have calculated the product and then I have to calculate the sum. So product I calculate the calculate the sum. So what value you will get? So uh, So what value you will get? Uh, let me see. So uh, it should be minus one. I think it is correct only. Uh, let me check it further. This is the calculation. It might seem uh, uh, appear simple, but you need to be careful because any small mistake can cause a 
So very much damage. So it is minus one, but since it absolute, we will take one only. So before that, let's calculate the this quantity. So you have to square it. So it should be one, nine, sixteen, one, four, one, and then you have to add all this. So this is the square, and then add, and then the square root. So let uh, first add ten, twenty six, twenty seven. Uh, 31 and 30. So it is 30. This quantity. But we need to use the square root. So root 30. Similarly, this is 0.25. Means 0.25 into 6. Uh, like that. And after that, you have to calculate the square root. So let me. So you are free to use any kind of calculator, but uh, you need to know the answer as well. So uh, this all this quantity and since I will take it as one because we have to calculate the absolute. So if there any calculation mistake, uh, you can calculate on your own also. So I suppose there should not be any calculation mistake. So finally, what we will do, uh, like, so now our value will be RPB, so 1 divided by root 32 divided by 1, 5. So what will we get? So we will get 1.4, this. So this is the value you will get. And this is the point by senior position coefficient. So this is how you can calculate. Uh, and even if you calculate through this formula, you will get the same answer. You can try uh, whether you are getting it or not, and let me know in the comment section. Apart from that, there is another question I'm giving you as a kind of assignment. So answer it in the comment section as well. So here is the in our organization the manager wants to find the relation between the gender and the salary on. So uh, gender is kind of uh, categorical. We have only two gender in this case, male or female, and salary is numeric. So we have to calculate the joint by serial correlation coefficient, and here it is found to be 0.7. So this absolute value always range between 0 to 1. If it is not absolute, it can range between minus 1 to 1. But since it's absolute, it cannot be negative. So it will range to 0 to, point, uh, 0 to 1. But in the next quarter, the salary of every employee is triple. Right now, we have the correlation coefficient as um, 0.7, but salary got triple. So in that case, what will be the absolute value of the point by relation coefficient after the salary stick? So try this question and let me know in the comment section what do you think, what should be the answer with the logic. So whatever answer you are giving, uh, give some logic and in the next video or maybe in the pinned comment, I will uh, post its answer. So that's all. I hope this video will, uh, will serve its purpose and will provide some useful knowledge to the students. So that's all for this video. I hope this will uh, it's a, was a great learning experience for you. So for then, goodbye, take care, happy learning. I will see you in the upcoming video. Thank you. Let's go.